Hello there. So why are we paying that pesky £39 billion Brexit divorce bill? Firstly, please give this video a like to boost my channel, and I upload new stuff every day, so please check back daily. Remember that £39 billion Brexit divorce bill? I'm with the Tory MPs who say, don't pay it. Wouldn't that so-called Brexit divorce bill cash of £39 billion that we're meant to pay the EU for the honour of leaving it be really useful to us right now to help clear up the economic mess this global health crisis has landed us with? Oh yes, I hear you say. The trouble is that Brussels is also desperate to get its mucky paws on the filthy lucre too. But Brussels is also dragging its heels and attempting to slow the whole Brexit process down, just so as to get the UK to ask for a Brexit implementation period extension before the end of June deadline. And why? Because if we do fall for that one, Brussels can then 1. Lock us in the waiting room while they deal with their own fallout, leaving us powerless and unable to react to save ourselves and our economy. And two, Brussels can continue to milk us for more dosh with more membership fees. And three, Brussels can also keep the UK on the hook for saving the Eurozone and the EU with any bailout funds required, and use the city to help finance it too. So... If Brussels keeps doing this, it is they that are risking the UK leaving with no deal at the end of the year. So why should we pay them a penny? Why? Remember that the EU27 signed the Withdrawal Agreement Treaty 2, and they signed it after we'd set the 31st of December deadline in stone in UK primary legislation. They knew that, and they still signed. So get it done. In fact, given the domestic imperative, we should be re-evaluating that whole payment anyway. Yes, it is mandated in international law that we have to pay it. But it's also mandated in international law that the European Union, as a whole, has to be nice to its neighbouring states. Except Gibraltar, it seems. And, more importantly, it is also mandated in international law that EU member states are to be nice and supportive to each other. How's that going, Greece? How's that going, Italy? How's that going, Ireland, now that Brussels has finished using you as a Brexit lever? It's also mandated in international law that bodies like the WHO should be impartial. How's that one panning out? And I'm sure there are rules out there that governments should be fully transparent and inform the rest of us when they've let loose a health crisis on the whole planet. So it's great to read in the Express that Tory Brexiteer MP Andrew Bridgen says that with the global health crisis, circumstances have changed and that the UK can't afford to pay huge sums of money to a dysfunctional organisation which we are no longer a member of. The government needs to look at this again, he said, particularly if the EU fails to conclude an acceptable trade deal with us. We should be paying nothing, he said. And he's joined by fellow Tory Brexiteer MP Peter Bone, who said that the Brexit talks can be conducted remotely and that he'd never agreed that we should pay the £39 billion Brexit divorce bill anyway. But former Tory Cabinet Minister David Jones said that we should pay what we've agreed to pay. And the chairman of the Tory party Eurosceptic European Research Group, Marc Francois, said that it would be hard to get out of paying what we'd agreed to pay, but that we should not be drawn into paying any more. But I would add in that if any stalling on the part of the EU ends up with us having a just very unsatisfactory bare-bones deal, then we should look to withhold all the money, or at least a large proportion of it. But if we are somehow tied in to coughing up the dosh, why can't we make it absolutely clear up front that no deal, no dosh. 
bare bones deal a lot less dosh. And my question to viewers is, how much do you think we should pay and why? Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.